I spent 24 hours in the Dragon Ball Terraria mod, and towards the end of the challenge, I got ridiculously OP. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it guys. Spawning in, I spotted Grandpa Gohan's house to the left of me, so I went in and got my 4 star Dragon Ball. I then got ganged up on by some slimes, so I had to kill them to get their stable key crystals. But I haven't played it much further than where I am right now, like I tried it out for about half a second. So, this is new. Now it's Dora the Explorer time. A stepping stool! How wonderful. Yay. I'm getting gold? I got nine gold from that. What is that? <gasps> Sandstorm in a bottle, let's go! I then got my brain caved in by one of the weakest creatures in the game. Uh, nope, I can't be here. I can't be here. It, there's so many mobs everywhere. I can't, I can't even do anything. The next thing on my agenda was to create a Z table. So to do that, I had to buy some scrap metal from the merchant. How much does it cost? Four silver. Let's buy 22 and I should be able to make the Z table now, apparently. So let's go down, it's probably at the bottom. Okay, I can craft a lot of stuff. Yeah, Z table, look at that. Put it right here. Look at that. I just need more key crystals. After farming some stable key crystals, I made my first key weapon. <laughs> the way they explode is hilarious. Okay, I have 25 now. I should be able to craft one, right? Come on. Let me break here. Give me something good. Let me craft. <gasps> Look, key blast or energy wave. I think I'll do key blast. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. I'm definitely doing it. And it ends up being terrible. After farming more key crystals from the slime raid event, the king slime spawned in. Why would you stop letting them in? Oh my. They love letting him in. When is it gonna stop? Oh, of course. And I totally didn't get obliterated here. Yeah, I'm not ready for King Slime either. Yep. Now the next thing I needed to do was go to the dungeon to get a book. And a book I could use to craft something pretty cool. It is annoying for sure. Right, let's get all these books. Yep. Buku Jutsu Guide Volume 1. Makes you feel lighter. This will do something really cool. You know what this will do? I can fly. Look at me. I'm flying. Look at me, I'm flying. Isn't this awesome? I fly pretty fast too. After finding my happy thought, I made an instavator and went and found some Hermes boots. Oh, whatever. Hermes boots. Boosts. Using some smooth granite, I created a key chip, which increases my key charge rate. The architect is actually very nice. What do I do with a glass kiln? So with this, I should, there's something I should be able to craft. It's at the Z table. What is this? Key chip. Increased key charge rate. Wow, guys, look at this cool armor. It's pretty, pretty sick, huh? Yep, Saiyan Scout. This is the stuff I need. It's like kind of crap defense and everything, but I mean. After defeating my first goblin army, I got a goblin key enhancer, which I used for the majority of the playthrough. Plus 500? Getting hit grants massively increased key regen. Before fighting the Eye of Cthulhu, I made a really good accessory which I also used for a lot of the playthrough. I think I have to make a Nizzy table. Not sure. Oh, yeah. This needs to be over here. Look at this. Dragon Gem Necklace. This thing is insane. 
Now for the Eye of Cthulhu fight, I had a really insane idea where I would use the energy wave and just fall down the uh, instivator instead of actually like fighting him with an arena because I'm, uh, I'm scared. Yep, 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 this idea is working. This idea is working. Oh wow, that worked. No way that worked. Oh, no way that worked. 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 Sorry if I didn't talk. I was just... Oh, wow. That was very annoying. That instivator strat. Oh, baby. Do that, please. That is so OP. Oh, thank you for letting me beat that. Oh, that was annoying. Let's fly around here. I'm going to put my trophies up here. There you go. That was very annoying. Like, very annoying. Look, guys. I got a burger. I got a burger. A burger. A burger! That's actually really good. It's funny that it's a burger, but it's actually really insane. I feel like- I, I believe it is the best. No, I think- is hot dog the best? It's either burger or hot dog that's the best. I didn't get the stuff from the mod that I needed from the Eye of Cthulhu, so I had to fight him a few more times to get the things I needed. Cool. Okay, so you actually do get some of the stuff from it. Uh, what? Uh, unlimited merchant killer. Ah, uh, that's so messed up. What? Restores your body and kills. Sends you beans. I was told not to use these, though. I looked on the wiki and it said, don't use them. Novice key fragment. Oh, this is what I needed. Let's go. Look, 20, 2,800, 500. Not, no, sorry. 850. I'm dumb. I lost every single one of my brain cells before using Kaioken and I didn't know how to power down, so I just died. Uh, how do I put that out? <laughs> huh? I got really lucky fighting the Eater of Worlds here. Like, half of his segments just disappeared and allowed me to beat him relatively easily. Can you stop hitting me perfectly with those, please? That'd be, that'd be nice. Come on, come back. I don't know how I got him so low already. But I'm okay with it, because I defeated him. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care at all. I think that was cheating. Who cares? Messed up. All these? I'm going to keep them. Not going to use them. Oh, Kaioken times three. Easy. Once you defeat the Eater of Worlds, a new kind of key crystal pops up when you kill things in the jungle. There's a ton of stuff I need to make with them too though. I then mined some clouds and made a Nimbus Cloud mount. I thought I, I, thought I could excavate it for a second, that would have been hilarious. I'm sure, let me get the Nimbus whistle first. Look at, that, look at this, look, hold on. Oh, it like wants to go to the ground. It's kind of funny. I was able to craft some pretty insane key techniques with the calm key crystals I just farmed. Well, that's awesome. Energy blast barrage. Oh, that's a better version of the key blast. I want that. Let's try it out. Well, that's definitely great. Oh, it's just a better version of the other one. That's cool. I did not mean to eat that mushroom. This was an accident. <laughs> is, that what, is that what I'm gonna say to the cops? <laughs> that's, that's a dumb joke, I'm sorry. All right, let's try it. Huh. I then crafted a novice key scroll and some new armor. Look at that, and I can buy turtle hermit pants and ghee. I can, buy, I can get both. Cool. Let's put these on. And this, I'm Goku. I'm literally Goku. 
It's rematch time. I will hate the King Slime for the rest of my life. Die. This does so much more damage, it's actually crazy. Holy, the damage is so insane. No, that damage is actually insane. He gets smaller? I didn't even realize he got smaller when you're about to kill him. Um, that was unnecessarily easy. <laughs> no way! That's so dumb! Uh, as soon as- <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll take it. Look at that. Now I really didn't want to fight the queen bee with no space to move, so I just farmed up some stuff to make the abomination, and I got the Fargo's mutant mod version of the abomination, so I could fight it at my house. Ow. Ow. Okay, so I, it, they were wrong. Cause she is enraged right now. That's what this is. And I'm full health. I had to use a senzu bean. But hopefully, th come on, get her, 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 come on. Oh, that was close. Oh my. Oh, a honeybee? Secret ingredient from a honeybee. Is that like a little, uh, like little cutie pie? Ah! Oh! That was horrible. I shouldn't. That was that. What a sound I made. Look at this little cutie. Feels like I'm talking to a dog. After placing my new trophy down, I went to space to farm some astral essentials. Mm-hmm. It's that easy. I got a chicken nugget. With these astral essentials, I was able to craft my favorite weapon in the entire mod. Oh yeah, and Masenko. Yeah, just a bigger version of the one from before. And yes, if you're wondering, absolutely, I made my boss arena above my house because I hate my NPCs. My NPCs open the door for mobs to kill me every time, all the day. Nope. Skeletron was actually really easy this time around. I had pretty much no difficulty with him whatsoever. All the bees, all the bees, all the bees. And now we start. And more bees. Perfect. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, baby. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Okay, I don't need to charge up the rest of the time. Almost dead, almost dead. Nice. Easy job, easy job. I just got to use those senzu beans really well. Cool. Underworld's flames shimmer with energy. I don't remember that. Is that a new thing? I beat him once more to get the student key fragment. Oh wait. Yes, by 2000? I didn't expect to get it this early, but lucky me, I got the Kamehameha. Look at that. Let's try this out. Outrageous. Yep, just a better blast. This is gonna destroy the wall of flesh. I am 100% telling you right now that is going to annihilate the wall of flesh. 100%. There's no way it doesn't. Before fighting the wall of flesh, I thought it was a great time to get scammed by the goblin tinkerer. No. Ooh, ooh. Forgot their happy thought is crazy. What a, a Peter Pan reference is whack, bro. I need to watch Hook again. That movie is fire. If you haven't seen Hook, you're missing out, bro. That was my childhood right there. That movie is so good. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into hard mode. Oh, wow, that damage is crazy, though. That damage is crazy. That damage is crazy. That damage is insane. Just hold it down, just hold it down, just hold it down, just hold it down. Just hold it down, no! 
Why was that so easy? I mean, I'm almost dead, but why was that so easy? I just gotta kill everything down here so I don't die. Okay, stop. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. Um, that was way too easy. I hated how easy that was. Now to unlock Super Saiyan, you have to take lethal damage from a boss. So that's just what I did. Look at me, I'm Super Saiyan. Yeah. Damage plus 50. Now you know what time it is, it's hard mode ores time. It's time to get some palladium, some mithril, and some adamantite. Next on my list was to farm some angerful key crystals from corruptors and get a dragon radar mark II, which I could use to find some dragon balls. Now going and collecting the Dragon Balls was pretty boring and tedious, so I'm not going to show much of that, but here's a couple clips. Yep, okay, so I was right. Cool. One star Dragon Ball. And now we can summon Shenron and grant my wish. What the genetic reroll does, which is I believe this one, it gives me either the legendary or prodigy trait, so I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I get to choose, okay. Um, this is power, increase in permanent, or... Er, Permanent increase in maximum health, maximum key and damage. This is wealth, that's horrible. Immortality. Reviving at full life for the next three deaths. I mean, that'd be good for bosses, right? Guaranteed. I'd rather have this one. Prodigy. Faster mastery gains. Yeah, I'd rather have legendary than prodigy, honestly. So let's, let's do this again. So now I have... Legendary, your body seems a bit special, and now I also have double the amount of key. Next, I made some new weapons, made another wish, and it was time to fight Skeletron. Okay, cool. It's Skelly Prime. Normally not the first one I fight, but I'm okay with it. I have a Senzu Bean and one Immortality left. I would have liked three, but... It'd be cool if I didn't even have to use it, though. I didn't even have to use it. That's crazy that I didn't even have to use it. That's crazy. Ooh, baby. W. Skeletron Prime Max. Harvester. Apparently I'm gonna have to fight him again though, which sucks. But, relic time, puppy, look at that. Now at this point, I had fought the Destroyer a bunch of times, but those were just pain. So I'm not gonna show that, I'm just gonna show the one where I actually beat him. Wow, that, dude, when he hits you head on, that shit hurts, bro. Come on. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's not fun at all. Wow, dude, that's not fun in the slightest. All right, so I have an idea. You see, this does 236 damage. Let's, now I'm super Kaioken. 428 key damage. That's insane. Now the twins were the worst part of the playthrough by far. So here's me dying after getting him one health. Oh my god, that does so much damage, bro. Come on. No! Are you fucking kidding me?! Yeah, I was tweaking, I'm not gonna deny it. That, that got me hard. One shot. 
I ran out of key with one shot left to kill him. Now at this point, I was fed up. So I decided to just sit around and wait till I got the Super Saiyan Mastery. Holy, my Super Saiyan has reached max mastery. So I'm gonna have, in the fight, I'm not gonna use Super Kaioken, regular Kaioken, or Ultra Super Saiyan. I'm gonna use Ascended Super Saiyan, which is the second level. Makes me faster, but look look how much, it's like barely draining it, it's just fine. And yeah, it consumes a lot of key, but it's doing good damage, and I'm still just as, I'm still pretty fast. So I think this is a good middle point. It should be, should be good. The twins will rue the day they decided to fuck with me. Okay, I was like not prepared for them to like already be on me. I'm also using this right away. There we go. Good time to attack. Stop attacking. Go, 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 go. More attacks. Well, that's not good at all. Okay, that's one down. I drink a key potion, which I made recently. Forgot to tell you guys about that. <sighs> I have a good feeling about this. I have a great feeling about this. Let's fucking go. Oh my. Let's power down, baby. I hate that boss. I don't like that. That's not fun. I hated that. I hated every second of that. Yeah, Ascended Super Saiyan was definitely the move. I didn't lose the amount of health I lost um, when I was doing Super Kaioken. Time for another armor upgrade. Then we'll get the demon shirt and demon leggings, and then I can get the Canadian versions, which are just slightly better. I don't know why they're called Canadian. It's funny, but whatever. Oh, is that a loom? <laughs> what? That's weird. Yeah. Canadian demon leggings. And a Canadian demon shirt. This is where I started to get really OP. To unlock legendary Super Saiyan, you have to take lethal damage from a boss after beating all three of the mechanical bosses. Now I'm legendary Super Saiyan. Holy, I'm fast. I'm, I'm awoken. I'm woke. Don't murder me. Die. Thank you. And it's like, get, go, leave, bye. Thank you for giving me Legendary Super Saiyan. I spent the next 45 minutes just waiting around for my Legendary Super Saiyan to reach Max Mastery. Yeah. Look at me, I'm mastered. It's mastered. Look at it, it's going down so much slower now. After finding a Plantera Bulb and making an arena, I decided that it would just be smarter to use a Super Kamehameha and just F it up the same way I did with the Eye of Cthulhu. Die Plantera, Super Kamehameha, you easy kill, baby, yay. I knew it'd be that easy. Let's go. I didn't even realize this until after the playthrough. I completely missed Plantera's relic. For the rest of the game, the Z table was not gonna work. So I had to make a Kai table to make any other weapons or armor in the future. Kai table, that's what I need, a Kai table. Now I can make the Destructo Disc Assault, oh baby! Oh, it's horrible. Snail speed. It's so much slower. But I think, yeah, it does way more damage. All that good stuff. 
time ring, but this is also what I wanted. This thing is insane. The super energy barrage carried me through the game until I got literally the best weapon in the game. Like, there was nothing better than the next thing after this. This thing is so mid. Now, you may have noticed this before, but at this point in the game, my key recharge rate was so high that I could have Super Saiyan on and Flight on all the time and not take any key. It's just, it's free. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see if they're lying to me. Um, it takes none. It takes none. I can fly for free. This time, the dungeon wasn't even that bad. I just had crippling PTSD from the last challenge I did. I mean, just a free thousand damage out of nowhere. Alright, here we are. And I straight up don't need a platform because I can just fly everywhere. Like, I, I can just go back and forth like this. What's going on? Oh, it's the Torch God! Oh no! I, <laughs> I spawned the Torch God! <laughs> no way I spawned the Torch God! Okay, so that's it. Okay, Torch God's over. Cool. Um, cool. Even though I had already beaten him once, the Torch God wanted a rematch right in the middle of my fight with Golem. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so easy to just dodge him. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. <laughs> oh my god. Is the torch god happening again? Are you kidding me? Well, that's so unfair, bro. That's fucked up, man. You can't torch god me in the middle of that. I used every brain cell I had to get rid of the torches before fighting the golem again. Let's try it. Okay, this is unbelievably easy. That was stupidly easy. Even though I beat him, Golem got the last laugh. I died of poison shortly after beating him, and I had to go way back to get the trophy, which I then placed down, and shortly after, I got some new armor. Oh my god, I'm, I just barely don't have enough. That is, that is pitiful. Oh god. I then went to hell to get some demonic souls before I realized, hey, guess who hasn't fought the Queen Slime yet? Hi. How's it going? You having a good day? Doesn't seem like it. Duke Fishron was next on my list because he could give me two things. The crafting materials for new armor and the ability to get legendary Super Saiyan 2. Put you there. I'm ready. Oh wow, dude, this guy's tough. I don't even know where he is, bro. I'm just shooting in a, di in a direction. Okay. Can't believe we're in space now. Okay, sends are being used. Why is everything all blue? What's going on? I can't see. Okay, he's almost, he's almost dead. One health. W. Whew, easy. Duke Fishron Relic. I haven't beat Duke Fishron in a while. Put that down. That is probably my favorite relic. That thing looks awesome. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. 
I'll take Jim's wings. To unlock Legendary Super Saiyan 2, I had to be fighting a boss below 5% health while also in Legendary Super Saiyan 1. I don't like being on fire though, that, that's not a part I like. A deep burning. Come on, please, just give it to me! There we go. I then spent yet again another 45 minutes getting Legendary Super Saiyan 2 Max Mastery before I went and fought the Lunatic Cultist. It looks like it's gonna slowly go down, but yeah, look at this. I can just have Super Saiyan 2, Legendary Super Saiyan 2 on all the time. Everything costs a lot, but I do an insane amount of damage. Hey, what's up guys? Where is he at? Oh, hey. I do insane damage. Where's he at? Oh my god, the damage I do is insane! Alright, let's go home real quick. I don't want to do this right now. Oh, just... Oh, it's beautiful. Unlocked- wait, I've unlocked Legendary Super Saiyan 3? Just right off the bat? Hold on. Oh my god. Look how cool I look, too. Look how fast I am! Wait, how fast were- I fly at 200 miles an hour. I fly at 200 miles an hour. The phantasmal dragon pet I got from the lunatic cultist was pretty insane, but what's more insane is this Majin Nucleus I got, which made it so that my key recharge rate was so high that even without max mastery of Legendary Super Saiyan 3, I didn't lose any key while using it. I mean, that's cool. Is it, should I, what, I, what should I get rid of? Oh. But now my key is always going up, even when I'm flying. Oh wow, that's insane. Even though I didn't have max mastery of Legendary Super Saiyan 3, I went ahead and did the pillars, and I got max mastery during the pillars anyways. After doing a few of the pillars, I was able to craft the strongest weapon in the entire game. But cooler. <sighs> and it does so much damage. And it consumes barely any key. Wow, that's insane. What? I mean, at this point, I was super confident. I had a really strong weapon, great armor, and literally everything I could possibly need. So yeah, I was just going to go ahead and do Moon Lord. I don't know how much... Oh, there. I was, about to, I was about to ask how much time he gives me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That was scary. I was stuck in there. Look at this. I I, I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh my. Okay, this mod is ridiculous. Alright, you're kidding me. Really, dude? Nah. That's crazy. First try. Um. Holy, dude. Let's power down real quick. Oh, wow. Let's, all right, let's place down our relic. Now, once we uh, get our stuff, we're gonna be onto the Empress of Light. And that'll be the final boss, guys. Because, in my opinion, Empress of Light is the final boss, not Moon Lord. <laughs> I beat the Moon Lord a few more times for fun, but I'm not going to show them because they're just as boring as the first time. And I made sure to get the best armor in the entire game for the Empress of Light fight. Hitting enemies heals a random amount of key. Dude. <laughs> oh, this is, this is stupid. This is stupid.
This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. After waiting around for what seemed like 25 minutes for a prismatic lace wing, I finally found one and it was time for the Empress of Life. This is ridiculous. Just spawn in. Oh, there we go. Hi, Empress of Light. How's it going? You having a great time? I'm <laughs> not having a great time, are you? I'm too fast for you. Final relic. Look at that. These are all the bosses we've defeated. It's not every boss in the game, but it's most of them. All the important ones. Nimble Eventai. That's f sick, actually. Well, I guess that's it. That's um, that's it for the playthrough. This was very fun, especially nearing the end where I got these really cool moves in Super Saiyan, and I could go across the world in half a second because of how fast I am. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. I'm going absurdly quick. All right, edge of the map to edge of the map. Go. I mean, this is, bruh, this is insane, this is insane. I mean, I'm happy, this is a good spot to end it. Look how cool I look, I got two dragons following me, the best light pet in the game, I've done Moon Lord a few times, and this is all legit, so, uh, W, man. That's it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more playthroughs and one video like this challenges 24 hour challenges that's good let's do that i want to do more of that so uh see you guys